In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to create some animated outline strokes. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Uh, the other day we hit 50,000 subscribers. That is a huge milestone and definitely something that is awesome. So thank you guys for watching these videos and watch this, uh, watch my channel lose a thousand subscribers now just because I posted this video to make me go fall down to 49,000. That would be hilarious. No, it wouldn't. Be, I, I would cry. So anyway, let's just jump in this tutorial. So I already have a background and a text layer. Uh, just make sure your text is typed out. And once you have your text in here, right click your text layer and click on create shapes from text. And we just have the outline of our text in shape layers here. And what I'm gonna do is go to the top here and click on the word fill. And I'm gonna turn off the solid color and click okay. And then I'm gonna click on the word stroke. And we're gonna turn the stroke on. And we're gonna set this right to white. And we can come here to the top and maybe set this down to 0.5 pixels. Keep it kind of skinny or thick, depending on what you like. And let's go and open up our tab here for our outline. And let's add a trim paths. And let's go into here. And we'll increase the start just by a little bit, like by 8%. And that's just gonna kind of keep an opening here. And that's pretty interesting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe for offset. And you can go ahead and just move this around to wherever you want to start at. And then we're gonna go to the end of our animation, which is gonna be about five seconds for me. And we're just gonna slightly increase the offset here. So this way we're gonna have this nice, you know, sort of stroke animation. And of course, you can be very precise with this animation and you can create outlines for every character. And I do suggest doing that if you wanna have, you know, beautiful, precise animation. But for this, we're just gonna do the entire word at once just to save some time. But we're gonna, once we're done here, we're going to continue with this. So let's just duplicate this layer. So go up to Edit, Duplicate. And we'll open this back up. Go in the contents and just have this open here. Let's go back to the top. And let's change the color of this to maybe our primary uh, logo color, which that's mine. And we'll set the stroke width to maybe about four. And we'll go back into the trim paths. And let's increase the start until this gets kind of a little bit smaller, you know? Kind of like that. And what we gotta do is we gotta make sure both of these keyframes are selected. The offset keyframes are selected and we just need to offset it. You know, we can move this anywhere we want. So now we created a piece of detail that is animated. So now we kind of have that nice little stroke going on there. And then all we have to do now is continue to duplicate this. We'll go back into the contents, go into the trim paths. Uh, and of course, maybe we can, you know, just select both of the keyframes and we can continue to offset this. We can maybe make the uh, you know start a little bit smaller. And if you want, we can also go to add and we can add the wiggle paths effect. And if you want to create some, you know, I guess variation, some you know distortion in this, we go into wiggle paths here and we can set maybe the wiggles per second down to one. We can maybe bring the size down to five and maybe the detail down to five as well. Um, and of course you can always variate that depending on how intense you want this to be, but this will kind of add like more of a turbulent display sort of effect. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. You can mess around with that. I'm going to keep it on there for this. Uh, but I want to go here, just duplicate that without the wiggle paths. And, you know, we'll come in here, change the stroke maybe to white, you know, set the pixels down to two. And this is, we're going to start creating some variation here with some of the, uh, you know, stroke settings. And of course, make sure to go in the trim paths and just offset this. And of course you can, you know, bring down the start, keep it small. And this is where we're going to start really creating some more interesting details, duplicate it again, maybe bring this one to four and we'll go back into the trim paths. Maybe we'll select both of the keyframes and just offset it again, put it over here, maybe bring the start down. Cool. All right, so you guys kind of get the idea of this, but let's go ahead and just duplicate it one more time. This time let's get like more of a secondary color. I'll do like a nice little light blue there. And what we'll do is we'll hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll bring the scale down to maybe like 98%. And we'll kind of get you know a nice little offset from our text. And you know this time let's uh, go in the trim paths and let's reverse this in the other direction. So now we'll kind of get something like that. Let me actually, uh, animate this a little bit more, but you can kind of just reverse this in the other direction and you'll get some, you know, variation there. And, you know, maybe we can set the stroke down to two 
and maybe increase the start by a little bit. And if we need to, we can always bring this down to like 97%. You know, just, we got to kind of mess with it. It's just going to create a nice little, you know, separation there. Kind of cool. That might be a little too much, but hey, let's continue to move forward here. And we duplicate it again. You know, maybe this time we'll bring the scale down to like 99%. And well, it can set the, color, the stroke color to white. So let's take this a little bit further. Uh, if we need to maybe scale this up by a little bit, you know, we need to make this bigger. That's no problem at all. Just recenter this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're gonna go to effect, stylize, glow. And you know, we get this nice little glow effect. You know, if you like those settings, you don't have to touch it, but we can always bring down the glow threshold by a little bit, maybe increase the radius. Uh, if you want, maybe increase the intensity by a touch, but you know, you create this nice little glow effect, so it kind of seems like a little bit more futuristic or something like that. And you know, that's looking pretty good. So let's say you want to change the text of this. So obviously these are shape layers, so it's kind of a destructive workflow. But let's say we want to create like a new piece of text. So I'll just come here and type in Sunduck or something. And all I have to do is right click my text layer, go back to create shapes from text. And then we'll go ahead and open up our Sunduck outline here, go into our contents, and we'll just, we'll just go ahead and select all the letters here, copy it. And then we can just turn this off because we don't need it. But first let's hide all these other shape layers. And let's go back in the contents. You would just come here, delete the, uh, the paths, and we would just come here, click on contents, paste our new word in here, and just put it on top of the trim paths. And then you would just have to come up here and you know just readjust you know, some of the settings here. And then, you know, there you have that. And then you just go ahead and recopy this one more time. So you don't have to redo this at the top. And then you go to your outline two here and we go to the contents, we delete this word and we'll just paste it right in there, put it on top of the trim paths. And the only thing that we have to do from here on out is go to the stroke, you know, and put the original, you know, uh, color and stroke size settings back to what they should be. Um, and then we'll just go through each of these outlines and replace the words. But this is the fastest way you can replace text without actually having to start from scratch again. And if you've been following this tutorial, this is what you should have gotten. And, you know, I think there's some great uses for this. And I want to say once again, thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel uh, for more After Effects tutorials just like this. Let's try to reach 100K now. And, you know, please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day.